guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're watching all of the Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World movies. There's five movies. There's Jurassic Park, then The Lost World Jurassic Park 2, and then Jurassic Park 3, and then you got Jurassic, Park, uh, Jurassic World, and then Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So it's a little bit of a shorter one, but I'm excited. Um, I have seen, the only ones I have seen are the original Jurassic Park and then Jurassic World. Those are the only two. And I've heard that Dress, uh, Last World is fine, and then Jurassic Part 3 is, like, not good at all. And then I've also heard that, um, Jurassic World 2 isn't the best. But, you know, I'm interested to see them all together and how they flow. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, do all that stuff, comment down below which movie is your favorite, and let's get into the video. Okay, guys, so I'm about to watch... The first Jurassic Park. Um, now, as I said, I've seen this one, and I thought it was pretty good. It definitely has some, like, great, like, V effects, especially for its time. Like, it did a lot of groundbreaking stuff, and, um, and it's a great, like, original story, and I love the different aspects of it. So I'm excited to rewatch it, because I have not seen it in a while, like, a long while. So let's watch Jurassic Park. Okay, guys, so I just finished Jurassic Park. Now, I thought this movie it was good. I definitely liked it. But most of the action and, like, um, main memorable parts when you think about Jurassic Park happened in the second hour. The first hour, like, it, it kept dragging on. Once it hit that, like, around that hour mark, it started, like, it started going and going and going and going. I really loved it. I loved the whole T-Rex scene, of course. You got that amazing. I, I liked some uh, bits from the beginning, like, um... When they're actually going to the park and they're learning about all, all those words. I do have a question, though. Like, if you got the blood from the mosquito that got it from a dinosaur, how did you get so many different species of dinosaurs? It was probably explained in the video, but still. I, 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 don't, I don't know. It, it, it confused me a little bit. Um, but then you got, like, the whole T-Rex scene. Then you got them going all around the whole area and then everything. Then you got the Velociraptor scene. A lot of stuff happens in, like, the last 20 minutes also. Like, and then you'd have the whole big T-Rex in the area with that shot. And you hear the music. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know what to say. Like, I feel like everyone's seen Jurassic Park. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's definitely, it's like when you think, oh, that's a good movie. It's a pretty good movie. That's what you think of Jurassic Park. Like, it's not like... I don't think it's anyone's favorite movie, but, you know, it's still pretty good. The effects definitely hold up. I love that about it, but, you know, I really enjoyed it, and it was really good. Let's move on to The Lost World, Jurassic Park 2. Okay, guys, so I'm about to watch The Lost World, Jurassic Park. Now, I don't know about this movie, because I'm pretty sure it replaces, like, most of the actors, and I've heard it sort of retells the story, um, I don't know, it came out five years after, and pretty much after the first one came out, and it was a huge success, um, they made the author of the original book write a second one, and so, so that they can make another movie. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm a little, um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, because I haven't seen it before, but I'm excited, but I'm scared that they're just gonna move to all CGI, because, like, late 90s early 2000s like cgi was way overused in its early phases versus the night and then there is less practical but we'll see it could be a surprise like wow this is actually pretty good or it could be like a really bad movie or a mediocre one right in the middle so let's watch the lost world jurassic park okay guys so i just finished uh the lost world jurassic park now um i thought this movie um, if any of you have ever seen Sean Chandler talks about, um, if you've seen his channel, um, he's a huge inspiration of mine. He has these things called Taco Bell movies, which they're not the, like, best movies or anyone's favorite movies, but they're just, like, entertaining. And that's pretty much what this movie is. It's, like, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. It has all these weird, crazy things, but it's, like, pretty memorable, um, like, by the end, you got a T-Rex roaming the city. The way to save it, uh, the way to capture it is to find its baby from a new Jurassic Park that opened up. 
and then you got them hanging off a building at one point, and then a lot of more people die. In the first movie, like, only one person actually died from a dinosaur, like, being eaten by a dinosaur. This movie, a lot of people actually died, and I feel like as the movie show on, it's gonna be more and more and more, but it was pretty interesting, um, but, you know, this was, um, really... <laughs> This this was a really weird movie. It started out with this little girl. I don't know if she died or was injured or whatever. Um, but she was attacked by all these tiny dinosaurs. And um, pretty much all the cast is gone besides Jeff Goldblum and then one of the old and then the old man from the original. But and he's not really in it that much. Um, but then you got Jeff Goldblum and his daughter, and then he has a girlfriend also. And it looks way different. I don't know. It was kind of all over the place. But, like, in a good way. I still I still enjoyed it. Not, like, better in the first one. It was more like a... A weird movie. Like, so bad that's good type of thing. But next up, we have Jurassic Park 3. Let's watch it. Okay, guys. So, I'm about to watch Jurassic Park 3. Now... A lot of people don't like this movie. Um, it's like the um, kind of the odd one out. It doesn't. I don't think it has any of the original cast. I think it brings back the dad from the original, and that's it. And I'm pretty sure it has a bunch of weird scenes. But like, um, and I, I don't know. I feel like this wasn't needed. They just need another cast draft. I don't think there was a third book written, so this one was just like all original, which wasn't the best. Um. But yeah, let's watch Jurassic Park 3. Okay, guys, so I just finished Jurassic Park 3, and this movie, it was a very average movie. Like, it wasn't bad, it wasn't good, it, it was just, it was made just to like, hey, we made this movie 10 years ago, and yeah, we tried to make it second one, didn't really do well, but here's our... Another attempt at making a movie. Oh, we can take your money now. Like, it's there wasn't really an intent for this. Like, they bring back some of the original actors back. Like, the I said dad earlier. He's not really a dad. He's the, like, main guy, though, from the first movie. And then also the main woman from the first movie is in it a little bit. But, you know, it's not the most interesting. The beginning's pretty boring. Let's say down the island. The, the whole thing with... The, the the stepdad and son were paragliding, and then they get lost on the island. Like, I don't think any people, like, at, would actually reasonably be allowed to go on that island, and they would allow all that stuff, especially with everything that would happen. I don't know. Wasn't a nature reserve no one could go to it? I don't know. That's what was said at the end of the last movie, but, you know, this this is a very weird average movie it's um you have that one scene on the plane where it's like alan alan that's pretty much um i'm probably the only thing i'll remember from this movie but yeah i just watched jurassic part three and next up we have jurassic world so let's watch that okay guys so i'm about to watch jurassic world and i've seen jurassic world before um and i thought it, it was like it was entertaining but definitely not like a Oscar winning or anything like that like award winning movie it was just it was entertaining like it wasn't like it, it was good entertainment wise but like quality wise it's not really the best I love Chris Pratt in it of course um um I don't like the kids in it they're kind of annoying um but then you got the it's it kind of feels like a reached in of the first one, just a little, like, slightly different. Um, but, you know, the CGI is uh, pretty good in it. A lot more people die because it's, like, Jurassic World, not Park, and then the whole pterodactyls, I think, and stuff. They have experimental dinosaurs and all that stuff. But I haven't seen it in, like, a long while, so I'm excited to re-watch it. But, yeah, let's watch Jurassic World. Okay, guys, so I just finished Jurassic World, and this was definitely better than I remember. Um, I like the kids, actually. Um, like, I thought they were going to be more annoying. They were kind of towards the beginning, but I, like, kept, uh, gradually kept liking them more and more. Same with, like, all the characters. 
um, I started liking them more and more and more and more, like, as characters. Um, but, like, the first half was definitely focused on the kids, and it was really cool with them, like, going all around, they're in the sphere and everything. But then, like, um, second half was sort of focused on the, what's her name, the, the aunt, and then, um, um, Owen, uh, or Mr. Grady or whatever, um, but... That's pretty much what the second half was focused on. And I really love the end where you shot the big indigenous rats like fighting the raptors and like it's one of the raptors and then and then you get the T Rex come out, the iconic like just normal T Rex. And it's definitely like I said before, just a really entertaining movie. Maybe not like one of the best movies, like quality wise I definitely do love the whole props and everything and then CGI and stuff like um it looks really good um but it's definitely really entertaining and I I I think it's I, I don't know if I want to say it but I kind of like it best out of all the ones that I've seen <sighs> yeah I, I said it but you know could change after like because sometimes when watching a movie, you, like, get that excitement right after you finished it. But once you think about it, you're like, eh, kind of like that. But next up, we have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which I've never seen. But let's watch that. Okay, guys, so let's, uh, time to watch Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I've never seen it before, and I've heard it's, it's, like, fine. It's not as good as the first one. Um, as the first Jurassic World, <laughs> but for the ads that I saw on TV when it was, like, coming out, I remember it seemed much, like, more scarier at the time, like, bigger in size. Um, there's new kids, I think, um, which I like the older ones, but, like, I don't know if the other ones are gonna be in this movie or if they're just replacing them, but I don't know. But, uh, but otherwise, I don't really know anything else about this. So let's watch Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay, guys, so I just finished Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And I thought this movie, it, it wasn't as good as the first Jurassic World. It was still pretty entertaining. I really love the, like, um, beginning part where they're on the island. Uh, I thought that was really entertaining with the whole gyro thing and then they're all underwater. And then I liked the, um, Franklin character. I liked him at most moments. He kind of did sidetracked later on the story. And then once you, like, return and then you get the mansion and everything, kind of starts to be a little, what? And then you realize, oh, now they're selling the dinosaurs. It, it's just all over the place. Um, I, I didn't know what to think about it. It was, it, it was just weird. Um, I don't really know what else to say. They tr they're trying to go for more of a horror aspect. I felt like, like, they're trying to do these old jump stairs and stuff. I, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't the best. No, it's kind of average pretty average movie but yeah that was all of jurassic park slash world okay guys that's all for this video i um, i thought the jurassic park series um slash world series it's very weird because you have it's a really weird concept you have this massive success in the early 90s and of course they didn't like right away try to make some sequels but then they like pretty much take away some of the tasks except for one character um, played by Jeff Goldblum in the second one. That one did too well. They wait a little bit, and they made a third one with the return of one of the other characters. Um, that one wasn't the best. And then, like, 15 years later, or around that time, they come out with, like, Jurassic World, which I thought was definitely really good. That one was probably the most enjoyable of the movies, though Jurassic Park was probably the most, like, actually good movie um Jurassic uh part two I also thought was pretty entertaining three was a little weird um and then Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom 
Um, yeah, I was trying to more of a cash grab. They're trying to, pretty much nowadays, everything has to be a whole. Can't, nothing can really be seen alone. They already have another one planned. Jurassic World, uh, Domini, Dominin? I don't know, I thought it was Domination. That's not how it's spelled. Domini? I, 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 I don't know. But, you know, they try to, like, bring back nostalgia. Like, they had Jeff Goldblum in the last one. I forgot to mention that. He was in Fallen Kingdom. Which I thought he was pretty good. But, I don't know. It's a pretty average series. But, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. But, yeah, this has been a video of Chase H. See you guys in the next one.